वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग आर प्रोजेक्ट नेम ऑल फैक्टर ऑफ रेनिया अंडर मेंटरशिप ऑफ मिस्टर अविनाश कुमार शर्मा सर नेम इज तुषार राज वर्मा उर्वशी चौधरी सृष्टि अग्रवाल Here is our problem statement in which we develop a handy device for smell sense disabled person which generate an alarm whenever there is a leakage of dangerous gas chemical or smoke we use remote sensors and artificial intelligence with the help of neuron study and simulation here is our prototype model in which we use five sensors this is our data set in which we use 11 gases along with temperature and humidity which gives us the prediction along with the accuracy of 96.67% whether the uh, gas is dangerous or not here is our final dashboard which uh, displays the content of gases at current time okay so it is our hardware module name all factor brainiac let me give a brief description on its parts it comprises of five sensors including dht11 mq135 mq4 mq2 and mq7 sensors it is having a power slot of raspberry pi and an aux slot of raspberry pi it has lcd display and at the corner it is having a buzzer let's have a deep insights on this project all the circuitry is been implemented on a breadboard each sensor is being given a power supply and a ground voltage and each sensor values are being transferred to our raspberry pi that comprises of the code of back propagation having a neural network let's plug it up and just give a power supply every circuit is now integrated let's have a brief review on the sensors dht11 is only for temperature and humidity rest all sensors are calibrating different and different gases as being explained earlier about the code mainly mq2 sensor gives lpg smoke methane butane MQ7 sensor gives carbon monoxide and MQ135 is for ammonia Now let's take a look at our data set which includes 13 inputs and one output Input includes temperature humidity LPG smoke methane butane carbon monoxide ammonia carbon dioxide alcohol acetone toluene and benzene and one output that is dangerous to you Temperature will be measured in degree Celsius. Humidity in percentage and other 11 gases in the PPM. That is parts per million. The output will be predicted at the three levels. That is one, two, and three. One represents safe. Two alert will be given to the user, and three that is harmful. There are total of one to five zero entries in the data set on the basis of which the data set will be trained and further predict the output. Now coming to the code. starting with dht11 for measuring temperature and humidity first of all we need to build a class then the dht11 sensor will sense the temperature and humidity on its pins and further give the output on the pins of that is gpio pins of raspberry pi and then further operations will be performed now another port is of mq sensor where first of all we need to give the pin number on which output is coming then resistance value of sensors and the value in clean air now here the port for mcp which is used for converting digital to analog output further these are the gases values from their existing curves once the calibration of sensors will be done it will give ppm values these ppm values of gases present in the atmosphere will be obtained through this formula now the core part 
which is used for prediction that is back propagation algorithm here we had built the model from scratch neural network and it includes build network and train function which works on forward pass and backward pass and this process of back propagating includes the updation of weights which will be done through this function that is update weights the activation function used a sigmoid and then the output will be predicted with the help of this function that is predict all these files will be imported in a common file where we are loading our data set now after all these operations result will be displayed on the lcd screen and if the dangerous degree exceed it will ring a buzzer and send an alert through the twilio to all the registered users now we are going to run our code on vnc viewer and the command is python main file dot py now our neural network were built with input dimension of 13 number of epoch car 500 and number of folds are 3 after all these holes our model will give the accuracy of 96.7% and now the sensors will start calibrating once we are imparting a smoke on our project a buzzer will blow and a message will come to our phone buzzer will blow for 10 seconds now this is the message which was came through twilio api if we see the link is also attached which comprises of the current location yes the current location of this device is being tracked and this information can be sent to nearby police stations and fire stations also so here is the final dashboard named olfactor brainiac prepared in grafana dashboard and we are using a database known as influx db this dashboard comprises of all the parameters of gases as well as temperature and humidity it is running on a local host of grafana it is a powerful tool for visualizing the data and send any alerts and preparing monitoring gauges and panels here you can see the complete dashboard it is the panel that takes real time data and a time series data from influx db so if we can see the python api which pushes data into this dashboard or we can say into the dash into the database influx db it is the api of python where the data frame is be values of data frame is being transferred to a variable and this variable is passed in the measurements or the attributes of the table so yeah so in this we are writing the our data in the database cwc and pushing this data to the influx db where the grafana dashboard will fetch the data in real time so as we can see this is a dashboard named olfactor brainiac is a real time dashboard that takes values from that influx db and it is the final monitoring system of our project
Thank you. Okay, so here's our research paper, Olfactor Brainiac, Aid Kit for Person with Smell Sense Disability. It is having extract, introduction, nomenclatures, the brief description on technologies, what we are using, that is IoT, deep learning, and alert systems. There's a literature survey also, which comprises of what other papers have approached and what our approach to solve the problem of smell sense disability. Our methodologies, prototype and working is already being described with a demo. Circuitry diagram, description of the data set, all the attributes that, are data, that our data set is comprising of, data set link, experimentation and results, and a comparison of all machine learning and deep learning algorithms. Now the status of publication is, we have submitted our paper in International Conference on Intelligent Communication and Computation Research. The paper was submitted and it was accepted. At the conference, it was awarded as a best paper award. Further, the extended version is also accepted in LNEE Scoopus Index Journal at the end, I would like to thank my guide, Professor Avinash Kumar Sharma sir, for his support. And also I would like to thank each and every faculty of CSIT. Thank you.